So when I first heard about how Jelly Durrani, the great Hungarian violinist, rediscovered the Schumann Violin Concerto with the help of a Ouija board, I nearly fell off my chair. It seemed to me to be the strangest detective story in the history of music. It was in 1933 that um, Jelly began to get these messages purporting to be from the spirit of Schumann. She and her friends were gradually able to determine that the concerto existed. They found out where it was. They were struggling to unearth it against the will of Schumann's family. Um, and then the Nazis themselves got wind of the concerto and decided that they were going to unearth it for reasons of their own. So what ensued was a tremendous race between Yeli, who felt that she, having received this these messages and having initiated the process of finding the work, that gave her a right to the performance. Along came Yehudi Menuhin, who was 21, was this boy virtuoso young whiz kid who also got wind of the concerto and also wanted to play it. And the Nazis don't want him to perform it because he's of Russian Jewish uh, American uh, extraction. So there's a resistance to someone like him performing this German masterwork, and so they then arrange um, for the premiere to take place in Berlin. They latched onto it as an Aryan counterweight to the masterpiece by Schumann's Jewish friend, Mendelssohn. A premiere was staged in 1937. The concerto was sandwiched between an address by Goebbels and the singing of national hymns. It was the last complete orchestral work that Schumann wrote before he had his tragic nervous breakdown, attempted suicide, and then spent his final two years in an asylum in Endenich in Bonn. And after his death, his wife Clara and their great friend Brahms got together to decide which of his unpublished works should see the light of day. There are several works that he decided not to include from the 1850s that Schumann wrote and the Violin Concerto is probably one of the most substantial one of those pieces. So they make a judgment about the quality of the work, I think, primarily. Clara, I believe, was afraid that it would betray Schumann's worsening state of mind at the time. So it had been put away in a library and suppressed um, with an embargo that some said was a hundred years and others, including Schumann's daughter Eugenie, said was a stipulation that it should never be performed or published. And somehow the whole thing became incredibly symbolic for me because there is the pre-war world on the brink of war. There is Yeli herself on the brink of her career beginning to fade through a, a range of different problems which may have been physical, may have been psychological. And there was Schumann himself who was on the brink of madness when he wrote the concerto. And to me, those three things come together and symbolize something incredibly powerful. Something good did come out of this, that this great piece of music was discovered, has been rehabilitated, and can be performed by today's great virtuosos who are uh, taking up the work in ever greater numbers today.